Hey love. So welcome back to the channel. Today we decided to take a break from Tulum and treat ourselves to a little bit of luxury. So right down the road, about 30 minutes from Tulum, you can find the Bahia Principe. It's a chain of luxury resort. And we're gonna show you what a day pass is and is it worth even getting one. Yep, so stick around for the details. Deuces. <laughs> Okay, so a little bit about the resort. It's a little bit smaller than the other resorts that we've been to in Mexico. So when we got here, um, we walked into the lobby and then we checked in. They gave us these black wristbands that we are gonna keep on. I think that we are supposed to stay here or the time that we are allotted here is from like eight o'clock to 6 p.m. When we checked in, they did keep our passports I'm assuming that's to make sure we check out at 6 p.m. But uh, yeah, Gypsy's home, so they don't even have to worry about that. So we're gonna go in, uh, we're gonna wait around for a little bit because I think that the restaurants may open at about 12, 12.30. It's 12 o'clock now, so we're gonna get us some drinks and um, enjoy the atmosphere. All right, guys, so when you're staying at this adults-only resort of Bahia, it's a Shao Kahn, I forgot the name of it, it's got a weird name. You gotta catch a, a golf cart to the other resorts. You're allowed to use your day pass from this resort to the other four resorts across the street. The only bad part is that you have to catch a little golf cart and the golf cart passes every 10 to 15 minutes. It's drizzling right now, but it'll pass. It usually does that every afternoon. Uh, so that's, that's the only drawback about uh, getting you all inclusive at this resort and having to go down to the other one's a 15 minute wait. But it depends because some buses run 10. It depends on which resort you want to go to because they have like they have about four of them down there on the beach. So I'm going to show you what this little bus stop looks like. This is where we are right here. So we're right here and I guess the trial is going to take us all the way down here and we're going to try to get to uh, Bahia Principe uh, Tulum. We are at Sian Khan, so they own like all these. Okay, so we just got off the little train and we made it to the second resort. This is Bahia Akumao. So we're gonna walk to the beach. I think that we may get us a drink, maybe have um, something to eat and kind of check the place out. So we might change, we'll see. This one has kids, the other one was an adults on and I, what we are trying to do is find the adults only beach. So somewhere within these four complexes is an adults only beach and we're trying to figure out if it's um, clothing optional or or not but so far here I mean uh, it's pretty cool it's bigger than the last one that we were at the food is a little bit different they are clams here uh, the meat tastes different yeah there's steak and the steak is cooked perfectly so the food is a little bit different uh, we've only been to one restaurant here I'm not even sure how many they have but I think that what we're gonna do is probably go and see the beach and um, see what else Akumal has to offer. Until then, we're gonna take full advantage of the all-inclusiveness that this place has to offer. So I am having a uh, red wine because we figured that if we get wine, then it's less likely that they're able to water down my beverage. Either way, cheers to a good day. me again so what's I, going on everybody i'm still here oh look Castillo <laughs> is with me i know you know i got a speech impediment problem okay so uh we are leaving uh i mean we're finishing up with lunch and we're gonna go and walk about 10 to 15 minutes to what we were told was an adults only pool beach type area we've been getting conflicting information yes. about this place so we're gonna go and check it out for ourselves
But I think it, I think it could be done if you weren't recording. Like if you wanted to come down and, and get the day pass and visit all four, it could be done. I'm sure it could. It could be done. It's just that we're obviously in the middle of recording. I'm definitely gonna say that it's possible to, to buy the one resort all inclusive fee and then be able to visit all four. And another thing is, we started kind of late. Yeah, we did. I think we got here about 11:15, 11, 11, 11, something like that. If we would have started a little bit earlier, then I think we would have been. Able yeah, I totally agree. If you, if you want to take full, ad, full advantage of your day pass, make sure you get here exactly at 9. Because, you know, your process, you're gonna, it's going to take some time checking in. And then, of course, getting your Wi-Fi and stuff set up. So, yeah, definitely get here a little bit early before 9. So, I'm going to tell you something right now, guys. Run a golf cart while you're holding a drink. Don't do it. It's going to just spill all over you. Right now, that... It take a, the, the, the problem with all inclusive resorts is that it take a while to get your uh, to get your buzz on because they water down the drinks so much that you really gotta go in like seven drinks deep to get like a real buzz. But know? then when you do, but when you do, you uh, spill drink all over yourself. I'm gonna just be honest. I'm, gonna, I'm just, this is real me. going to the lobby of Tulum. Well, I will tell you one thing. That was a bumpy ride. That was a bumpy ride. So we're here at Baja Principe Grand Tulum and we're gonna go see what this looks like. made it to Tulum and uh, we're gonna check it out it looks pretty cool so far So we're, we just made it to the third resort. We're gonna go look at the little buffet area, and then we're gonna go, we're probably gonna get into the pool at this one. We're gonna just chill out at this one. We got about three hours left. Oh, <laughs> we got about, oh shit, I'm spending a drink on myself. We got about three hours left on our day pass. So we're gonna tell you what a day pass is here as soon as we settle in, you know? We're, we're trying to make as much the use of our day's pass as possible. All right, see you in a few. I I get into something a little more comfortable. Faustino is in the bathroom changing his clothes now. We're gonna try and go and get in the pool because I think we only have about three or four hours left and we have eaten our way through about three, three resorts now. So it's time for us to see uh, how the water feels. And I see that 
the resort has all types of activities. Like in one pool, there's water polo. In another pool, there is aerobics. It's pretty busy around here. So what are we doing over here? <laughs> okay. All right, guys. So, if you want to know what a day pass is, we're gonna tell you right now what it is. So, a day pass consists of access to the resort, and with that access, you are able to get unlimited drinks. You're able to get unlimited food, and it lasts for a certain amount of time. So, hours last between the hours of 9 a.m. 9 and 6, 6 p.m. Right. So, those those day passes, a lot of resorts do them. You can actually get them for about. I said the lowest maybe $85 to the highest being $150 the per day. The highest being $150 yeah, per day. And, and it runs about 9 a.m. to about 6 p.m. And, and you get uh, <laughs> and you can enjoy all the anemones that uh, each resort has to offer. Yeah, so this particular resort has four different resorts, right? So we went to the Akumao. We are here at the Tulum right now. I think we first started off at... It, the, it has a weird name. CM... CM Khan. Yeah. But it was Bahia Principal. So that's the third one. And I don't even think that we're going to get to the fourth one because no. it's almost 6 o'clock now. Not even that it's almost 6 o'clock. We have about two hours, but we also want to actually... Enjoy, enjoy the resort. Right. So. It, it can be done if you come here and actually do it. We're just filming, but if you actually come and get a resort uh, day pass, or I think it was like $85 per person, you can actually enjoy all four resorts, you know. Uh, I just think that we're obviously trying to compress time because we're trying to get you guys a video. Yeah, and we didn't get here until like 11.30, yeah. 12 o'clock. So yeah. we are trying to make up time. Right. So if you get here at 9 and you want a day pass, get here at 9 start your day pass early you can start your drinking early you can start your eating early and you get all three meals you know you can get your breakfast you can get your lunch yeah it, it, it it's a deal i i would definitely recommend getting a day pass mm -hmm. <laughs> oh one thing the drinks i feel that uh, this is our honest review you might as well just do it now i mean you might as well you might as well do it now We've always come to Mexico. We've come to Mexico before we uh, quit working our jobs and, and quit everything and start traveling the world. The drinks have always been watered down. It's, it's 20 years later and they're still watered down. So what we do is we order a couple of drinks because you're going to have to get to like a certain limit before you actually start feeling something. And usually in Mexico, that's about a good three drinks. So we order a few drinks and then wait for that process to happen. Uh, one thing about... Uh, the thing, if you haven't if you've never been to an all-inclusive resort, you don't have to really finish your drink. You don't even have to even like your drink. You could just drink and be like, oh, this is horrible. Give me something else. And they will make it right there. Don't feel bad if if what you ordered is going to waste. I mean, it is going to waste, but you, you paid an, an all-inclusive fee, and, and that's what you get. Like, to be honest, like, they brought, they brought us some drinks that I, I just really wasn't feeling. And for you guys out there doing the math, it comes out to about $9.00 per hour because I think we're here from like what if you were to get here between 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. when you're allowed it's like nine hours mm -hmm. so if you're basically drinking nine dollars you're eating and drinking nine dollars per hour to at least get get your hundred dollars uh, per person per day you know I, I, so I, I think it's definitely worth worth it I know guys can definitely drink more than nine dollars in an hour and, and we've already eaten three meals so that definitely would have been at least 20 yeah, so the way that you get around in these four resorts, right, is by a cart. So there's a train that passes. Well, it's not even a train. It's, a it's like cart. a golf cart that's connected, and they pass about every 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, we really haven't had a problem waiting for the uh, golf cart. Like, they've been there on yeah. schedule every time. And uh, the, resorts, the resorts aren't really that far they're apart not. from they're, each other. No, they're maybe like a seven minute golf cart drive from each other. Now what I did realize is that every place here or every restaurant offers the same but different. Yeah. It's, you... it's kind of like it was in Thailand, like same, same but different. Like they offer pretty much the same choices, but the way that they cook them and yeah. the way that they serve them are completely yeah. different. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and say that we're at the truck. That's a little, I guess, a snack shop. 
that's uh, open between the buffet hour uh, restaurants. The food isn't bad. I mean, it looks kind of lame, but it's very flavorful. I'm not gonna lie, it's very flavorful. It's pretty good. So now I'm just loving her. Uh, what you get? Chicken burrito. She got the chicken burrito. We got chicken sandwich and uh, the tacos. And I'd say that they were seasoned. They're more seasoned actually than the street tacos. Hi well, guys. We are wrapping up our day. We are. Of luxury. And we want to say that we definitely enjoyed it. So you definitely have to take time out for things like this because we've been, although we've been in Tulum, like we've been working. So yeah. we really don't get a, a whole lot of time to come out and enjoy ourselves and enjoy our surroundings. surroundings. And uh, yeah, I'm glad we did today. Yeah, today we were able to actually like enjoy the Riviera Maya area. And we're able to show you guys what a day pass is and what it consists of. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. So far, so good. You can sit down, right? You can find the Bahia Principe. It's a chain of luxury resorts. And today we're doing an all-inclusive pass, day pass. Okay. Why I gotta be all-inclusive chain <laughs> chain resort? Like I'm a fucking salesman like that. I hate that.